away from where we're off to this morning. Um, we're heading down towards Brighton in Surrey. And uh, we are going to take shaft out of a divider. I believe it's a Dutch or a German divider. And the shaft assembly is absolutely fortunes from the manufacturer. So we're going to either repair the shaft or remanufacture the shaft. Um, I've got new bearings. I've got a tape lock sprocket, new sprocket. Um, I've got a tape lock sprocket, tape lock hub. But I've also got a, a normal sprocket as well, just in case we can't use a tape lock. Um, so hopefully we will be able to um, get it off, get it back to the workshop, remachine it, do whatever, and then bring it back this evening because they need it back in production for tomorrow. It's a flipping long way to go to do a quick you know, shaft repair, but uh, it is what it is. back of the workshop so you can see just how worn that is this isn't 25 mil in a ring get it up to the e sort of there and it does go tight but here well undersized i think we'll start with this end first weld that up and uh, get that side right and then this side so yeah i haven't got a key to right then forgot to turn one down but um, yeah, there's uh, that's not very tight. The 25 mil ring, which will sit about here. I can't even get over where the key was. So I don't know how I got the old bearing off, but it just slid off. So that must have been worn as hell. I mean, you can just see the, the damage on his shaft is awful. So get this side done first. Um, I'll probably just take a bit of that off on the lathe and then um, build it up with weld. Machine this side back nice while we've got this side shouldn't move too much. The centre shouldn't be too bad. Um, we can, whatever happens, we're probably going to set the steady up because this end, this this is undersized. There's no point in metal spraying this bit and then still having to weld this keyway up and that. Might as well just weld the whole lot and have it as all sort of homogenous weld metal um, on the surface and then turn it all to 25 mil. The new sprocket, the taper lock, I think is going to be a problem. And I always forget this, taper locks go boss side out. Um, which and originally the gear was the other way but it might work if it sits right on the end but we'll see um but yeah so let's set it up in the lathe and get get cracking we right. set up got the rotator and you can see i didn't try and turn it at an angle i just done steps to so build the end step then we'll fill that one and lastly we'll fill that one um do something to rest my arm on, but never mind, we'll just go as we are. Right, so it's quarter to seven and we are just 
heading back to the site now with welded up both ends of the roller um, turned them back to 25 mil diameter reinstated the 8 mil keyway and um, yeah so now we can go and install it as it's a Saturday and obviously it's late no one's on site so the girls that actually run the bakery um, they're a tired dad who actually owns the business is going to come and let me in so got to sort of be in and out pretty quickly because I won't be there till 8pm on the dot it's saying um, so I don't want to keep people up but obviously they need this machine back for tomorrow for production so it's the only time really I can do it um, and that was agreed that I would repair it on the same day I just I think someone didn't get the memo um, so yeah, we'll be there at 8 o'clock. Should only take half an hour. We've just got to put the bearings on and uh, in, reinstall the roller and um, track the belt, basically. That's it.